Not gonna lie, I'm blown away by this. Hey guys, welcome back to Demon Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're back for a brand new benchmark. As you can see, we're testing out Horizon Zero Dawn for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-10105 with the Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics. I'm running with 16GB of DDR4 RAM and dual channel memory and boy oh boy, a good CPU really does help you out, doesn't it? It definitely does. Anyway, I'm running at 960 by 540 we're not using upscaling as yet, and I am running on the lowest preset. I have disabled shadows as well, and turn off anti-aliasing, and the game is running at about, it's giving me over 20, 21 FPS on average. That is impressive, without even FSR. I'm going to be very curious to see how far the upscaler can help me with this setting, which I imagine it won't help me at all. I imagine that this is... This is as maxed out as it's going to get, but it is running, and I'm, I'm proud of this. Aren't there supposed to be machines up there for me to destroy? Where are they? Regardless, let's see what's going to happen. Is this using resolution scaling right now? No, it's not. Okay, it doesn't have resolution scaling. How strange. I felt like it did. Anyway, we're going to use, f we're going to use fidelity FSR. Let's use ultra quality. Yep, did nothing. They never do. You need to go all. You need to go all the way with these upscalers. Oh, there they are. You need to go all the way with these upscalers to really. You can actually play this, by the way, if you're wondering. Let's do performance right off the bat. Alrighty. Now keep in mind, like I said, this area is quite demanding. There's a lot of stuff going on. You can see all the the fog effects and everything playing out here. Like it is insane out here. In some years, we're going to get way better performance. We're using about 12 gigabytes of RAM as well. The most important thing here is that we're not getting any stutter. I feel like that's really important. The no stutter. Oh crap! You're dead! You're dead too. I am so impressed by this. The fact that this is playing like this, 24 FPS. I'm about to cause a big effect. Let's see what happens. It stays. It still stays over 20. Okay, so even in big even in big areas of effect, it still stays over 20 FPS. That is impressive. Horizon Zero Dawn has come a long way since it first got ported to the PC. I'll say that. <laughs> but once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. You know me. I test out games on low-end hardware all the time just to let you guys know how it will run, how it will perform. You know, it is what it is. And this runs decently well. It certainly does. Although I do not like my CPU going up to 70% every once in a while. Which is a Horizon Zero Dawn thing once again. But other than that. Oh, you're not dead from that? Dead from that though. Let's just walk down into this fortress here real quick and see what happens. This is playable. Like I said, there, is, there isn't any real noticeable stutter in the game. Except for right now, I just saw that stutter. And that one. Guys, don't start the stutter once I just said that there is no stutter. Guys, come on, let, let's be real here. There is no stutter in the game. I'm not seeing any stutter. Everything is running really smoothly, and it's, doing, it's keeping over 20 FPS regardless of the scenario. Now, this place here is very CPU intensive, so I don't know why I decided to come here. I, I remember this bringing even me with, with the RC 600 to my knees, but, you know, we'll see. There's a lot of a lot of foliage and debris around here, but even then, it still runs decently well. I I gotta I always preface this: how bad you want to play Horizon Zero Dawn? Because if you have a US 630 with at least the i3 1010, you can play this game. He's about to die. He died, but yeah, 25 FPS, 24 like that's. This is reasonable performance for a USC 630. And I could have gotten more if I probably went lower with the res, but that makes no sense. 
960 by 540 is the lowest. And don't anyone ask me, how would have 720p have been? Because it's like, what do, what do you mean how it would have been? It would have been terrible. That's why I didn't test it. Don't be ridiculous, guys. Oh, snap! Special kill. I didn't even know you like could do that in this game. Uh-oh, things are things are heating up and I don't even know what's happening. Oh, snap! Bro, that is literally what they did. <laughs> when I saw everyone there, I'm like, wait, 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 why are there so many of them? Gang up on her, huh? That makes sense. Aren't you? I need you to stop that. I need you to stop that, Boomer. But this has been forbidden Horizon Zero Dawn. It runs. I can't believe it's not butter. Hey, someone tried to fire at me just now. I don't appreciate that. Now you're dead because of that. How does that make you feel? You wanna walk into the limelight real quick for me? Damn. Damn. Thank you. Got him eventually. That other one I don't think wants to walk into the limelight, so I'll just... I'm gonna just dip. I am a bit sad it hasn't hit 30 FPS at all since I started, but at the same time, this is impressive. Like, this is playable. And I'm running this at 1080p screen, and this still looks quite decent, for all things considered for integrated graphics, man. The UFC 630, you give it a decent CPU, it still can do a so little something for you. Still can grant you some gaming experience, gaming playability. Now, would I sit down and actually play this? Hell no. Not at today's standard, I have an RCC 600. I have an R570. I have an R9280X. But I mean, if you had to, back in the day, I do recommend having sync dual channel RAM, obviously, because, like I said, we're using 13 gigabytes of RAM right now. Like, this crap is demanding. Like, you aren't running these games with 8 gigabytes of RAM, guys. So when someone says, hey, I got 8 single channel, how is it going to run? Like, guys, it's going to run terribly. Dual channel is what's saving this right now. Single channel, I might only be getting 16 FPS, and it's going to stutter a lot. And the stutter is bad. The stutter is the main, the most important thing, right? It's how smooth can you get the game to be. I can tell you now, without dual channel, you ain't. Anyway, I'm just going to, I'll see you guys next time.